Hi Leos and welcome to your June 2023 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, awesome energy uh, coming up for the month of June. I'm excited as usual to be doing um, some intuitive messages for you, followed by a week to week tarot forecast and an extended reading which will be linked below on Patreon. Okay Leos, let's talk about it. Um, Getting to know the physicality of your reality a little bit more is a big part of June. So um, what a bunch of effort gets you, what less effort gets you, um, starting to remeasure things, starting to understand, um, okay, in this particular situation when I'm pushing so hard, when I'm putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into things, it's yielding a small result. In that situation, just a small bit of effort yields 10 times the result of all that blood, sweat, and tears over there, and starting to make longer-term decisions based on um, more efficient, more, um, you know, wieldy situations. Um, so the problem that I'm feeling Leo walking into this time with um, is something that needs to be faced in June, and that has to do with not feeling like there's a limit to how hard you have to work. Um, there's a changing worth work ethic coming up for you in the month of June. Um, you have uh, starting the month with all that pentacles energy, the four of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and also um, coming from this major Taurus stellium, right? We've had this major fixed cross that happened on May 24th, which I did make a video about. Uh, you can thumb over to my channel if you want to see that video because it's something that all fixed signs are... Um, coming out of with a different idea about where they're at, which for some people is just kind of an understanding that for such a long time they weren't like honoring their own limits or they um, felt the need to prove something to themselves by pushing really, really hard. I want you guys to definitely examine in the month of June how much you're pushing in each place and can this be easier and then can some of that margin that you have left over through making things easier be applied to the things that really matter. So what we really want to see as there is a little bit of a line that we're crossing in Gemini season this year, Gemini season and rabbit energy is so good. We're in year of the rabbit, of course. Uh, Gemini just, um, in my opinion, really complements that energy well. And it has to do with fast, aerodynamic, efficient, smooth, functional uh, situations in life. And also the willingness to cut losses on certain things which just can't be well or certain things which just can't um, kind of easily resolve, okay? So resolution is very important during this time and enriching your life with greater efficiency, room for creativity, and options also to leave situations feels important now. Um, this Two of Wands, Eight of Cups judgment energy to me feels like having a lightness about you or having an ability to change things quite quickly knowing what your contingencies are knowing uh, where you're going to be where you're not going to be and also having flexibility so one of the challenges that we have with saturn in pisces which we've just had uh, for a few months now is the ability to maintain flexibility the ability also to change direction or to understand when a dead end is approaching or to understand and not feel as discouraged by like a dead end, but rather have the confidence to detour or to turn around or to change things. So it's great to just start to set new limits and new ethics for yourself about like how long you're willing to commit to something. Cause I do feel some Leos are a bit overcommitted. I feel that some Leos um, feel drained because of the scope of their commitments and definitely by June. Okay. Um, and certainly by the end of June, you want to see a certain level of that dissipating by then, okay? Definitely. And you want to see a different way that you work and function that has more leverage and isn't as heavy or overcommitted or overkill. All of that stuff is really releasing during Gemini season this year. Gemini season is blowing away a lot of the things that we were considering ever since 2021 to be overkill, oversaturation, overcommitment, overspeaking, overdoing, and it's replacing all of those things with, for some people, a view, okay? So if you can imagine like you're living in a house and there's like a forest or there's like a trees blocking the view and you don't even know the view is there and then there's like a change and all of a sudden there's a view there, okay? So there's a feeling of like, am I surrounding myself with too much 
uh, things that are obstructing my view, and that that's perhaps not the best example. Um, but with simple changes or simple alterations, there's a much better um, situation for most Leos, and that is the important thing about June for you. Um, another intuitive message I feel for you for the month of June is um, creativity starting to proliferate much more in your life. You have all of this wonderful wands energy, knight of wands, king of wands, two of wands, and that's what keeps drawing my attention. So um, fire element, um, warming things up a little bit, doing things that are uh, passionate for you rather than being too over-resolved with uh, responsibility will be important. It's not saying to be irresponsible. You do have quite a bit of pentacles here as well. But I do see some of you just walking away from a previous responsibility because maybe it's not a responsibility anymore. Maybe it's more of a... I don't know what would, what would the word be. Maybe you're more of a crutch to it. Maybe you're not even responsible for something. It is like just kind of consuming you, okay, rather than like creating any kind of... So, so I'm talking like greater projects, greater goals, greater upkeep regimes. Keep an eye out for that. Um, what it takes to maintain things, what it takes to upkeep things. Also... The, the lifetime or the life cycle of certain, um, especially material things that you have. We have still a major Taurus energy here with Jupiter and Uranus. Uh, the North Node still. Um, June is going to really show us, especially fixed signs, what is too much material, what is too much to keep up with, what is too much to deal with. And um, there's going to be, um, in time, a different uh, bearing to look at there. Let's talk about your week-to-week, -week, Leo's week number one of June, uh, four of pentacles rooted down by page of pentacles. You are growing something new. You might have to invest in something here. Um, there's a feeling of investing for the future. There's a feeling of taking like what you've worked hard for for a long time and creating a new leaf, okay? So for some people, it's like a down payment on a house, uh, definitely, or some kind of down payment happening there. Um, for others, it's like um, uh, funding a new business or some kind of first step at a level of material to a new uh, breath of life with what you're working on. It's a great time to start a new job or to have um, just a new project really uh, materially growing. And um, I feel that you guys need to plant some kind of seeds uh, during this time. And uh, try to not hold on to the seeds, like try to plant them, okay? Try to have like mobility with what you're holding. Um, I kind of see like a frugality there as well, which is always um, good. But um, seeds are also meant to be in the ground. Um, some of you are like holding, like if you imagine like a savings account of, of seeds, um, great, like it's like a store of seeds, it's like a stock of seeds, but their purpose is to be in the ground and growing. So try to not withhold them from their purpose. Um, you can kind of like make, I suppose, a comparison to that with money, okay? So like we all need savings, we all need to um, you know, have a backup plan and uh, emergency funds and things like that. But also at a certain point, um, you know, money is also meant to create. It's meant to like, um, in, a, in the same way that seeds are meant to be planted, it's meant to be um, planted to grow something else. So think about uh, that during that time. I think it's a very wonderful time for investing or for uh, growing something new. Week number two, the Knight of Wands, you're down by the Two of Wands, and you're out of that. Okay, so the first week, yes, could kind of be the end or the final bit of a cycle, um, a sort of Taurian, earthy energy there. And then you're kind of moving into a plane where it's like not so much about uh, money and investing, and you're stepping more into like your expression, your identity, your creative expression in the second week. And also you're looking at the world differently. So you might be um, planning to travel across the world. You might also be... I'm just taking your world, okay, so the things that your life comprises mainly of, maybe your house, your family, your friends, and like kind of like looking at it in your hand and thinking, um, is this doing me a justice? Um, I made a video at the end of May um, that was uh, talking about new wavelengths and how um, as we were moving through this kind of like barrier in 2023, there's this like huge focus starting to shift um, collectively onto how we're doing ourselves justice. Are we... Uh, dignifying um, our efforts? Are we doing things that bring us grace? Are we doing things that bring us um, honor and um, sort of like keeping our bodies uh, temples, you know, keeping ourselves in a sacred sort of, and, and even for some people with Saturn and Pisces, right? Holy, okay, sacred and holy life experiences and choosing those for ourselves. I think that might be actually what your entire month is about because honestly, for a lot of 
the fixed signs and especially Leo and Scorpio, it's like, um, gosh, some of that stuff was not feeling very sacred for a while. And some of that was starting to feel very desperate and, um, dark. Um, if that doesn't resonate for you, that's wonderful. But, um, this would be a period of time, actually this whole month of June and the second week of June, Gemini season in the rabbit year to extinguish a lot of that old, dark, heavy, dense stuff and replace it with things that actually do us justice. Okay, so um, amen to that. That's that's a nice message that came through there. Week three, you have the Judgment card rooted down by the King of Swords. Okay, um, you will have a mindset evolution in the third week, a transformation of the way you think about things. You have maybe like a different um, ideology coming in, um, or you're waking up to seeing that like, okay, this previous way of worldview or world perception was dull and now I'm sharpening up my intellect. Some of you might be going back to school. Some of you might also be um, uh, encouraged to start learning something new, a new language, um, something that you've never learned before, developing a new part of your brain, uh, developing new neurons through learning new things is very important also during um, the year of the rabbit because it's, it's completely and totally about starting to develop a muscle memory in areas of weakness. So it's very important, and I, this is the first time I'm getting this message this year, it's very important in the year of 2023 to purposefully practice something that you're weak at because through that you're going to develop some kind of ability to overcome weakness or some kind of ability to um, do this in any area by doing it once. Um, so that's what I feel for um, all of June for you, but really strong in the third week. Week four, the King of Wands rooted down by the Eight of Cups. Okay, um, flamboyantly walking away, walking towards um, greater creative expression, walking away from dull or dreary or burned out situations. Sometimes King of Wands can be about burnout as well. And I'm just feeling that the sign of Leo uh, might have been struggling more with burnout than other signs. So you can start to soothe and satiate that in the fourth week and you can start to walk towards something more um, giving or more um, appropriate for you. Um, and anyway, Leos, let's talk more about that in your extended reading. I'll link that below. Um, let's talk more about um, questing for happiness and bringing um, a greater sense of joy and prosperity in. Um, so come check that out. The Patreon page is awesome. I do bonus weekly forecasts and um, all the readings will be there early, um, ad-free and with extended counterparts. So um, come check it out, Leos. Have a great month. Bye.